Excuse me a second. Technical difficulties here. Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. Can you see the logo? Okay. Just checking about that. It's very important to make certain you can know who we are just because you wouldn't see it anywhere else on here. Looking at the possibility of more fog for this morning, the rest of your forecast is going to be, again, a little bit on the up and down side of things for both temperatures and chances of rainfall. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. If you've never tuned into this before, this is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and you can find out more right here with me and email address at the top of the screen. We try to tape this at least once per day, maybe twice, depending on how the situation falls out. The forecast available in the red bar at the bottom of your screen. We'll take a look at the other forecasts coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more. Temperatures pretty close to normal in the 50s and staying in the lower 50s for later on tonight. Maybe a few mid to upper 40s as we see some very mild conditions out there. We've got a front draped across the area and that's going to be keeping the temperatures south of I-40 back into around the upper 50s, maybe even the mid 60s today. North of I-40, it's going to be very cool in the upper 30s to the lower 40s. 40, so quite a temperature difference across much of the Mid-South. For the metro area, temperatures back in the lower 50s by mid to late morning. Pretty close to our normal highs. Areas of spotty showers off and on throughout the rest of the morning into this afternoon. Numbers will again be less than 10% for anything involving rainfall, but we will see more clouds than anything else. And temperatures by early this afternoon back into the mid-50s for much of the Mid-South. Plenty of problems back to our north. If you're planning on traveling anywhere north of Southern Missouri, we have numerous ice storm warnings taking place across the area from Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, into Texas and areas of Oklahoma. So we've got some shutdown roadways, some very hazardous travel into those areas. So the authorities, state government, DOTs have shut down some of those websites, have shut down some of those roadways out there. We also have freezing rain advisories in effect for a good portion of Texas, Oklahoma, and also back into the area of Illinois. And back to the north of that, we do have again some winter storm warnings taking place into Colorado, Nebraska, and western Kansas. So if you have any plans for traveling, this is going to be an area to think twice about visiting immediately because you may be running into some very big delays out there. Here in the Mid-South, early this morning, we have little if anything outside of a stray sprinkle or two going on, but that will be changing as we go into the rest of the forecast. National Mall from the NPS web camera from the National Park System available at nps.gov or follow the hashtag FindYourPark on Twitter. First Fort Cam in Fort Smith, Arkansas, looking at the junction of the Arkansas and Podo Rivers. If you've ever been there, a very beautiful place, especially on a nice sunny day. Uh, areas where it was just first settled, if you've been over in that area, and if you have a chance to go uh, over to the Hamburger Barn, that's a good place to go after you visit the first fort area. Ole Miss campus, a little bit closer to home. Fog continues to be fairly thick in Oxford, Mississippi. Ventress Hall in the foreground. Student Union back toward the background there. Heidelberg Elementary in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Fog, fairly quiet and hardly any traffic on the street at this time. Germantown, fairly thick fog for early this morning from the City Hall cam atop the water tower north of Germantown High School. Olive Branch also looking at some pretty decent fog this morning at City Hall cam. Thanking former Mayor Sam Reichard for posting this out there. Precipitation yesterday five hundredths of an inch bringing us up to six tenths of an inch for the month and for the year. But we're not seeing anything in the way of heavy rainfall coming on through so we're decently close to where we should be on rainfall. Well above normal for temperatures yesterday. Record low today eight above set in 1927 and a record high of 74, which hasn't been broken since 1953. Rest of the day today, spotty showers off and on through late morning and early this afternoon. And temperatures again as we go into the rest of the day. As we look at that stationary front, sticking across parts of the area. We're going to be seeing the possibility of very cool air back to the north of us and very warm air down to the south. So a very wide temperature difference out across the entire Mid-South area. Late tonight we may clear out a little bit, maybe even getting a bit of a break for some sunrise pictures early tomorrow morning for the holiday. But then more chances of rain will be starting to make their way into the Mid-South by lunchtime and afterwards maybe even some thunderstorms mixed in with that. Uh, looks like for the day of service better chances of shower 
showers and thunderstorms into tomorrow afternoon and evening then into tomorrow morning so hopefully most of the volunteer opportunities are able to get done beforehand rather than later showers light across the area possible but limited chances less than 10 percent out there tomorrow surging the numbers into the lower 70s for the martin luther king jr holiday and temperatures back in the to the well above freezing as well so all we'll get is liquid rainfall out there scattered showers early and then thunderstorms possible post dinner time post sunset into the rest of the forecast more showers and thunderstorms widespread across the area on tuesdays we head back to work and school lower 60s for highs upper 50s for wednesday mid to upper 50s or so for midweek and then warming back up again by week's end with stray showers and thunderstorms through the rest of the weekend cooling off a bit as we head toward monday and tuesday that's where we see again the potential potential of some cooler weather coming through but 50 degrees is about normal for this time of the year so not seeing a great deal of major cool weather coming on through the area weather where the troops are back into Iraq temperatures in the upper 40s around Mosul with cloudy skies there also in Baghdad 60s down toward Basra cloudy skies there also around Najaf in the southern part of the country Persian Gulf temperature most set and winds pretty nice out there no major signs of any problems although this is the time of the year you can wind up with some pretty good sand. 20s around Herat in the northwestern part of Afghanistan snow reported with a little bit of rain around Kabul at the airport 34 degrees cloudy at Kandahar and 36 degrees at Faizabad with mostly cloudy skies back to the DMZ teens around the DMZ itself clear skies across the southern portion of the Korean Peninsula and temperatures back in the lower 20s around Seoul lower 30s around Putin San take a look at our forecast and all kinds of other information available at Aonic underscore WRG3 on Twitter also on Instagram also on Facebook also on many other social media networks so stop by listen in for the forecast on the EAB network. East Arkansas broadcasters available at Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And I'll be back on the air tomorrow morning with Bob and Josh on Memphis in the Morning First and tons of sports chat on Talk Back Live. That's with Bob and Josh on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. Also, don't forget to download our weather app, whatever app platform you have go to your particular app store and search WREG weather and we'll keep you updated there questions concerns ideas comments complaints if you absolutely have to austin.onic at wreg.com that's the email address up that direction and we'll keep you updated on the rest of the forecast as well on periscope facebook and everything else that we can so stay tuned for more on social media with news channel 3 i'm meteorologist austin onic live and direct from the news channel 3 weather center downtown memphis on sunday morning thanks for joining us and and stay tuned for the rest of the forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 on air and online.